bells and whistles. See what resonates for you, your world, your life, your situation, and always double check what feels right to you in here. Trust that. Um, this is a general reading for Aquarius. Sun, moon, rising, inquiring. If you're curious about an Aquarius, it's totally cool. All right, let's see what God and energies of love have this week for Aquarius. For the highest and greatest good of everybody involved in the situation and their situation and their situation and so on since we're all one. So um, how you choose to ride these energies, Aquarius, is up to you. So um, always in the end use your own logic and intuition to make sound decisions based in love for the highest and greatest good of everybody involved. So that being said, Aquarius, I'm going to start with the bluebird. Lenomaird deck here to get a base energy for the week. Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, Inquiring for June 10th through June 16th, 2016. And or whenever it comes to you, if it comes to you another time, just go with it and see what works in your world to bring you more clarity. I'm going to start with the garden. Aquarius, you got some socializing to do this week. Number 20, the garden entreat to a party you'll go. New friends will arrive in a romance. Ooh, Aquarius, a romance may flow. Life's to be enjoyed with nature all around. In this verdant setting, peace and beauty abound. I, I reversed those words as sometimes I do when I see things when I read. Um, this is... Back in the day, the place to go was the garden. You know, the nature that was trimmed and properly attended to and beautified. And people hung out and they had tea and they, they chatted away at the social scene and they met the, you know, Johnson family down the streets, younger, hot son, and introduced them to the family and blah, 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 blah. It was like the social setting of the time. So... Think about what the social setting for you, where you feel comfortable, what kind of party, social setting, something that you can go to that maybe is something you normally go to, Aquarius, or maybe it's something you don't normally go to and it's a little bit, a little bit outside your box. If you were invited somewhere different this week, maybe go. If you usually hang out in a bar and somebody asks you to go camping, Go camping! The bar's still gonna be there when you go back. If you're always in the woods and you're always doing something and somebody offers to go to a club, go to the club if that's not your scene. Go check it out. You can always go. You can always leave. You can always leave. You know, say bye, not for me, gotta go. Heading out of here. You're you. You can do whatever you want. People will understand. So go do a party. Go do something social. Um, Maybe you'll meet some awesome people there. You know, you never know where this will bring you in the future. So I'm going to continue the little party theme and I'm going to do our musical inspiration bowl for Aquarius for this week. Let's see what we have, Aquarius. Meh. Harry Nielsen. Everybody's talking. 1969. I am going to put a very specific link. By the way, I hope you watch it. It's pretty awesome. It's, it's just watch it. It's, it's funny. I love, just watch it. He does the coconut song, by the way, like, put the lime in the coconut, drink a bowl, put the lime in the coconut, put them both together. Put... All right, I'm going to continue. Maybe I'll put that link too, since I, since I, since I mentioned that song. All right, so. This is the Ascended Masters, and I don't know why I grabbed it, but I'm going to pull from it because it's in my hand, Aquarius. One card. <laughs> Artistic expression, Paul the Venetian. Express yourself this week, Aquarius, in any way that is artistically you. Maybe at a party, express yourself artistically. Show your art. Bring your little talents, your... Uh, your photo album, your reel, your links, your business cards with you. 
so you can pass along how artistic you are. Maybe you're going to share your artistic nature with somebody else at a party. All right, I have four tarot decks and four positions. One position, this is the medieval Scampini deck. This is going to be for wisdom, for Aquarius to move forward with this week. So Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, and this is uh, the male energy this week. The male in your life, the penetrating male energy in you, however you see this for you, Aquarius. The Eight of Swords. waiting to be saved, uh, self, self-made prison, like putting the blinders on yourself, not seeing the whole picture, uh, not understanding. In this card, there's, I don't know, he's like a judge. He's like an old time judge. And there's two owls here. So there's wisdom behind this change, this uh, pause this place that you needed to go Aquarius to change your thoughts to come back around uh, better prepared for this lesson the next time it comes so you're not hanging out behind the swords I mean he's just sort of holding on the swords he can walk right out he's just choosing to grab onto those blades and feel that pain a little bit so where are you feeling pain that's affecting your thoughts? And what lesson is that bringing you so you can learn how to walk away and not be judged or to judge? Maybe there's a judging situation going on here that needs to be released. Something needs to be allowed, forgiven, let go of, moved on from. It's an eight, infinity. What goes around, comes around. Change your thoughts from negative to positive. Choose to walk out. Choose when you have a weird thought that feels like it's hurting you a little bit. Say that's a weird thought. How can I reverse it? Thank you, thought, for making me think something that was weird and now I am aware of that. I am conscious of it. And I don't want to sit in this conscious weirdness that makes me feel like I'm bleeding or hurting or being stabbed. I don't want to stay here, so what do I need to do to change it? How do I need to think differently about this situation um, so that judgment is released, pressure is released, time is released. You can move on, move forward, and uh, know better than to grab that sword in the future. You gain wisdom, you gain clarity, you gain knowledge, and you gain strength from this. So um, allow that strength to uh, move inside you and help you to grow and move forward and move from this position behind here to this position on seeing why you were there why that came, why you felt like that, why you needed to hang out there for a moment and gain clarity before moving forward, why that pain was important. Change your perception on whatever situation feels right for what I just said to you, Aquarius. Okay, um, this is the Tarot Illuminati, and this is going to be for wisdom to be open to. So the female wisdom for this week for Aquarius. I can see my sister and Hamlet coming over to say hello. I'm going to see what's going on here. We might have a visitor in a moment. All right. Strength. I feel like I just said this was to gain strength. Oh my, the economy pack. Thank you. Thank you. Maybe this is meaningful to somebody. Bulk. The big box. The big box. Thank you. Some cheese crackers for later. She learns from my dad and gets the bulk. <laughs> Strength. Taming the lion. Taming the beast. 
taming the beast in the situation, taming the beast in your head, taming the beast in your strength, taming the beast, uh, that was weird at the end, uh, taming the beast in yourself, taming the beast in a situation, um, adapting to an energy that feels like it's uh, stronger than you and changing the way that you approach it so that trust and um, gentleness and wisdom and stability and grace and dignity and uh, connection between animal self, beast self, lustful self, man self, and divine self is made. The connection between nature and human, uh, beast and human, uh, things that can't be tamed, and the uh, clarity and consciousness to be able to tame that situation. So, I mean, this big ass lion just trusts this beautiful girl that's licking her hand. You know, she's welcome in his pride. There's an infinity sign here. It's like continuing on. You know, this is constant learning, constant growth, constant stability, constant gentle uh, steps forward. Every day you have to go out and spend a little time taming this big, beautiful, powerful beast. Every day it takes a little bit of effort to eventually gain this mama bear strength in this situation, this whatever for you. So this is a long way coming and it's still something that you do every day so that you can constantly gain strength. So um, continue walking forward. We're gonna continue with the reading and do the Sun Moon Tarot for Heart of the Matter. For Aquarius, Heart of the Matter this week. The Princess of Pentacles. So a younger energy starting something new and learning how to get your hands in the dirt this week. Understanding seasons, uh, nature, um, the power of doing, creating, feeling, and taking whatever is going on in your head, Aquarius, and making that something real that you put your hands into and create. You start slowly, you plan, you uh, nourish your soil, you um, fuel your journey with the passion of who you are and you take care of it and you study and you learn and you adapt and you change and you grow and this eventually makes huge, big, beautiful gardens of abundance in your life. So start slow and have patience. One more card from the Sacred Rose for the environment energy for Aquarius. Six of Pentacles. So this is putting good seeds in and getting amazing results back. Finding equality. Make sure you give to yourself as much as you give to others. Allow others to be able to give to you like you would want to give to others. Allow others to feel good by helping you. And learn the value in helping others from a true, beautiful, beaming heart that just wants to help because you're awesome and you have the, the ability to do it. And you change the world by this equal balance because the world needs you, Aquarius. You have a special way of seeing everything and you can teach the world you can teach us all so um, whatever these lessons are that you've learned you're probably going to give back to the world in a beautiful way equal exchange with the strength that you've found find this balance 
in what you do. I love you. I'll see you soon.